Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Allison, the dyer behind Lofty Loops Yarns and the host of this semi-weekly podcast uh, where I talk about knitting and all the crafty things that I'm doing in my life. This is going to be a very quick bumper episode. I wasn't even planning on having the time to sit down and chat with you guys today. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about that towards the end. But long story short, my son's birthday uh, was yesterday. He turned 16 and he had a couple boys stay the night with him uh, to have a little bit of a birthday party, birthday sleepover. And um, I actually am heading up to Omaha here shortly to go have lunch with a friend. And then I was going to stop by Imagine It Yarn Shop because I haven't been there in a very long time. And I want to say hello to the wonderful Carla who owns and runs the shop. So um, but I have started a couple new projects that I really wanted to share with you. One of them being a really exciting sweater that I'm sure you will have seen if you follow me over on Instagram. Um, so I'm going to sit down super quickly, run through what I've been working on this past week because I do have, I think they're all brand new projects that you won't have seen before. So I didn't want to wait any longer um, or wait till next weekend to share them with you. So I do apologize if this is a really fast episode or if I'm chatting fast. The boys actually ran up to get some breakfast and they were going to go to Target because, you know, all of his friends are also 16 and drive, which is just horrifying. Um, but they went up to the store so he could spend his one of his birthday gift cards. So I have a very short amount of time before they get back here and start being rambunctious again. So I'm just going to jump right into it. Um, yes, everything that I'm chatting about I will leave links to down below in the description box with um, where you can find those on Ravelry if you want any more information because I might fail to say some of the details on some of these projects, uh, but there will be links down below where you can find all of that stuff. And again, if you're on Instagram and want to follow me over there, um, I am most active there and I post all the time about all the things I am working on. So first thing I'm going to chat with you guys about, last week I shared that I finished my Heel Toe do -si do Socks, which is a pattern by Kay Linton or the Crazy Sock Lady uh, Designs podcast and um, she's just a wonderful human and she makes wonderful patterns. And I finished a pair, so I immediately cast on a brand new pair. So I'm not very far. I did get the cuff done and I'm just a few rows into the pattern here. Um, but yes, I love this. I think I will always have a pair of these socks on the go because I love the way they look with self-striping yarn so so much um, and this yarn is London House let me see if I have the tag London House fibers in the bobbles colorway which I thought looked really springy I'll hold the cake up here because it has purples and pinks and blues and greens and grays I thought it looked really springy and great for a springtime pair of socks but as I was looking um, through their Instagram feed and their shop, it turns out that the Bobbles colorway was actually a Christmas colorway. So I can also see that they're very pretty um, holiday kind of celebration colors. Um, this is on their Stellina base. So there's a bit of sparkle in here too. Um, yeah, silver Stellina. So I don't know if that'll pick up, but I'm really excited about working through another pair of these. I am knitting them on a US 1.5, 2.5 millimeter needle. These are my Knitter Pride Zings, or Knit Pro Zings, as we like to call them. So yeah, that's as far as I am. Um, I Like I said, I love this pattern, and I will probably always have a sock, a self-striping sock, on the go. In this pattern because I love it so much. I'm actually wearing my um, the ones I just finished today so I'm really excited to have those out in the world finally. This is the first time I've worn them. The next thing that I want to share is a brand new project that I just started recently. The yarn had been caked up for quite a while. I may have mentioned it already but I had not cast on. I actually caked it up to go to New York 
for VKL back in January um, and just for whatever reason did not start on the project itself. Um, but I finally sat down and cast on since I finished a couple other things. And again, not super far because this next project I want to share kind of took over my life, but still very happy with it. This is the Langley hat by um, Jody Brown, who is one half of the Grocery Girls. So, or Mrs. Brown's Bags on Instagram. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see, but I'm just getting started with the cabling sections. So there are three large cables that will run up the front or side panel and the rest will be plain stockinette. It's a very pretty pattern. I will insert a photo so you can actually see what it's supposed to look like. It is a, I can't remember what the pattern calls for. It might call for a light DK or sport weight. I am knitting this with DK and then I'm holding it together with a strand of mohair. So I am probably using a little bit too thick of a yarn, but I'm okay with that. It's gonna be really fuzzy and perfect for winter. Um, and the colors that I'm using are by Hawari Bazaar Yarn, and it is her Poco Loco colorway, which was inspired by Coco, Disney's Coco. And it's just the most speckled colorway bright neon, bright punchy speckles. And I got a skein of that on DK as well as a skein of it in mohair. So those are what I'm holding double as I knit this Langley hat. And the marker on here, of course, is from Hannah of the Corner of Craft. And I thought, what better marker to have on here as my beginning of round than a beautiful purple pastel unicorn on this sparkly, fuzzy, project. <laughs> this was going very fast until I got sidetracked by the next project. Um, so I can see, I can see this being a very fast, like less than a week project. This will likely end up making some great gift knitting. Um, but yeah, I just, it's been a long time since I just knit a hat. So I'm really excited to have one on the needles. And I knew that I wanted to find some sort of hat to knit with these two yarns held together. Um, it was just a matter of which one and actually getting it cast on. So there you have it. This is the Langley hat. Oh, and I'm knitting those on my... What is the Luka? I think I might have a, some Luka needles. They're US size 6, 4 point... Yeah, 4 millimeter needle, sorry. They're just, I had them, they're size six and they're a 16 inch cord, so I used them to cast on. And I do like how the Luka needle feel with the mohair, everything sliding very well. So, and the cabling has been super simple. Um, it's been really great. The project that has stolen my heart, you will have seen many times if you follow me on Instagram, but of course I received my issue of Pom Pom Magazine and this is issue number 32, it's the spring 2020, and this sweater stole my heart. It is stunning, it is the Susurus, Susurus Pullover by uh, Hohi Locatelli, and I'm sure, unless you've been living under a rock, you will have seen this many, many times. Um, but I cast on immediately. It's like the day that that came in, I didn't even realize it was coming that quickly. It showed up at my door. I found it after work. I opened it, I ran downstairs, and I kicked up my yarn and started. So excited. It's been consuming my life for the last few days. And it is living in this beautiful bag, beautiful mauve moth bag by Yarn Monster. And it's perfect for the colors that I am using for this sweater. So I just, I had to share. I couldn't wait any longer had to share this with you because I am in love with it. So here, let me make sure I don't lose any of this mohair off the needles. It is, it needs to be on some slightly larger needles, but for now, this is what I have. So I've got the, 
um, neck band in there or the neck cuff I don't know neck band whatever neck hole <laughs> um, and then I've got the first section of mohair all by itself which is I, I have no words it's freaking amazing it's so light it's so fluffy it's so soft it's so wonderful I cannot get enough of it and then if I spread this out just a bit I have my first section of the lace panel in here and I've started again with the mohair by itself and I'm working my way through some more short rows oh you guys I am just so absolutely in love with this project there is short row shaping at um, the neck in the back so you can see here it's a little bit taller in the back and then I'm working through some more short row shaping right now I haven't looked far ahead um, so I don't know how much shaping is in the pattern. However, I am pleased with how much we have had to do so far. Um, I will say if you're doing short rows with just mohair, place markers. Place markers where your wrap and turns are or your whatever if you're doing German short rows, whatever you're doing, put a marker there because this mohair is so teensy and it is very hard to see um, where those wraps happen. So. I felt like I was quite the old lady when I was I had my glasses up on top of my head and I'm sitting there like this looking for those wraps and I'm like oh my gosh I, I just <laughs> I need a magnifying glass so that would be my only advice um, to myself and whoever wants to knit this pattern the yarn I'm using is my own hand dyed yarn lofty loops yarns in this secure sakura colorway so I am using a skein of Lofty Singles, which is my single ply, and it's just a very light, um, kind of beigey gray. It's got some warm undertones with hot pinks and orange and yellow speckles. And then I'm using a skein of Drift as the contrast, and this was actually, so this is my color A, which gets held together with the mohair. Um, so I wanted to have just a plain, a plain yarn underneath that didn't have any speckles on it because I really wanted the speckles of the Sakura on mohair to come through as I was holding these two together. So, gosh, I just love it. There's so much mohair happening in my life right now and I am all for it. So again, because I can't stop, oh, I just, it's so soft. It's so soft. I cannot stop just smashing it on my face. <laughs> um, so yeah, you can kind of see the speckles coming through. You can really see the speckling in the mohair, which I am super pleased about because I wasn't quite sure. Mohair definitely takes dye very differently. So even though these were dyed in the same batch, you can kind of see how the speckles spread out a bit more and they're a bit more muted on the mohair than they are on this single ply yarn. So this is the sweater that has stolen my heart. Again, I have a beginning of round marker on there from Hannah, the corner of craft, as per usual. Um, and I am knitting these on a US 3, 3.25 millimeter, which I was not anticipating knitting a full sweater on a size three needle when I saw that I may have I may have had a little heart palpitation because this might take me forever but I am so into working through these sections that I think it's going to go rather quickly so there you have it that is my Cicerus and it sounds like all the kids just got back so I'm going to cut this short now but I got through everything I wanted to talk about. Tomorrow I will be listing the first round of the advent calendars in the shop. That is on March 1st at 10 a.m. Central. Um, but don't fret, advent calendars will be or popping up in the shop multiple times throughout the summer if you want those. So definitely go check out the listing. I'll leave a link to that again down below. And I'll chat with you guys next time. Bye!